Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall. Our goal is that by the end of our lesson, you can say, I am learning to add and subtract. For today's lesson, you will need paper and pencil or a writing utensil. We will wait for you as you gather these materials. Today you will have an opportunity to practice your portrait of a graduate attributes as you are learning to add and subtract. You can write to share your ideas and you can speak so others can understand your thinking. Let's warm up our brains with a number sense routine. This is similar to one of the activities in your learning packet. Which one doesn't belong? Maybe you thought A doesn't belong because this equation does not have a 3 in it. Maybe you thought B because it starts with a 4. 4 is an even number in the addition equation. Maybe you thought C because the sum, which means answer, is 10. Maybe you thought D because it is a subtraction equation. There are so many different ways to justify our thinking with which one doesn't belong. Using your communication skills to show your thinking on your paper, or you could talk out loud. How many different combinations of three animals can be made with a total of 10 legs? One example could be a bee, which has six legs, a duck with two legs, and a bird with two legs is the same as 10 legs. What are some other combinations you can make? Here are some ways you might have made 10 with different animals. 8 plus 1 plus 1 is 10. 6 plus 2 plus 2 is 10. Here's our example. 6 plus 2 plus 2 is 10. 4 plus 2 plus 4 is 10. 4 plus 4 plus 2 is 10. 2 plus 4 plus 4 is 10. 2 plus 4 plus 4 is 10. Were you able to get some of those ways to make 10? Let's play headbands. We are going to use 10 frames and playing cards as we try to figure out ways we can make sums. You can use your communicator skills by writing your ideas on paper or talking out loud to share your thinking. I cannot see what is on my head. How many do I need to make 10? Did I hear some students say six? That means I have four on my head. I cannot see what is on my head. How many do I need to make 10? Did I hear some students say two? That means I have eight on my head. I can't see what is on my head. How many do I need to make 10? Did 
Did I hear some students say four? That means I have six on my head. I can't see what is on my head. How many do I need to make 10? Did I hear some students say five? That means I have five on my head. I can't see what is on my head. How many do I need to make 10? Did I hear students say one? That means I have nine on my head. You can play this at home with playing cards or you can make 10 grand cards on paper. I can't see what is on my head. How many do I need to make eight? Did I hear students say five? That means I have three on my head. I can't see what is on my head. How many do I need to make eight? Did I hear some students say two? That means I have six on my head. I can't see what is on my head. How many do I need to make eight? Did I hear some students say four? That means I have four on my head. I can't see what is on my head. How many do I need to make nine? Did I hear some students say two? That means I have seven on my head. Remember, you could play headbands with some playing cards at home, or you could use 10 frames and you could say, let's make any number. We could play to five, to six, to seven, to eight, nine, or 10. It is so much fun to add. Using your paper and pencil, show the number nine in as many ways as you can. Here is a 10 frame with nine in it. Maybe you thought about tallies, five and four make nine. Maybe you thought about dice, five and four make nine. Three and six make nine. Maybe you thought about pennies. Maybe you thought about equations. Were these some of the equations you brainstormed? Zero plus nine equals nine, one plus eight equals nine, two plus seven equals nine, three plus six equals nine, four plus five equals nine, five plus four equals nine, six plus three equals nine, seven plus two equals nine, eight plus one equals nine, nine plus zero equals nine. Oh, I see a pattern in these. Maybe you even thought about subtraction. Maybe these were some of the ones you brainstormed. 9 minus 0 equals 9, 10 minus 1 equals 9, 11 minus 2 equals 9, 12 minus 3 equals 9, 13 minus 4 equals 9. In today's lesson, we went over ways to add and subtract. Let's reflect. Were you able to write to share your ideas? Were you able to speak so others could hear your thinking? Now let's complete these sentences. You can write or tell someone in the room. I learned. I wonder. You are always welcome to share your learning and your wonderings with someone at your house or your teachers. Teachers love to hear what you're thinking.
In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned about ways we can add and subtract. I'm Mrs. Wall. I hope you have a great day, first graders, and keep on counting. See you soon.